This week's Studio 53 comes to you from an oil-rich country situated on the west coast of Africa, Nigeria. Hello and welcome once again to Studio 53, where we're coming to you from West Africa. To be more precise, from Ikoyi in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Gaetano Kagwa and we have a fabulous fair on the show for you this week. We feel the rhythm of life in Zambia. Find out if everything glitters in tinsel. Get arty in Johannesburg. Acquire a taste of Ethiopia in Germany. Discover wearable art. Get spiritual with Canvi. And Subiram Chumo shows her power. Our first visit this week is the day-long Rhythm of Life Festival. Zambia's first combined art and music festival and health fair which as Ndaka found out was a rousing success. Organized by the Ministry of Health, it was designed to bring free preventive health care information in a more traditional and entertaining way. Over 12,000 people who were drawn in by the musical superstars could not help but become part of the day's true theme, preventive health care. And to help spread the message were legendary Zimbabwean musician Oliver Mtukudzi, alongside popular Zambian artists. For most music lovers, attending a concert is simply about the music. And who can blame them with such talented artists on our continent? But when great musicians come together in support of a worthy cause, it really makes it a significant event, like today's Rhythm of Life Festival in Lusaka. Crowds clapped and danced along to the infectious beat and catchy lyrics that also had key messages about health seamlessly included in them. This event is a first for Zambia. What makes it so different to other music festivals? Um, there's been music festivals before, but I think combining so many superstars, so to speak, in one event is unique. And the second thing which is really great about it is it's all about health, about prevention and better health. So combining the two is the first. Tell us about the caliber of performers participating and of course their willingness to be involved in such an event. Oh, we have a great lineup. We have uh, some of the best performers in Zambia. We went through a process of talking to them, thinking, seeing who's interested in the issues, not just as you know performers, but also as individuals who could be health ambassadors. So um, we, they're not just very famous musicians, but also very committed individuals who want to talk about health using their platform. Oliver Tukum Tukudzi was invited to participate in the event, particularly because of his long-standing reputation in the region as a musical icon and as an ambassador of health. Mr. Tukudzi, it's a pleasure to have you on our show and thank you for joining us. Your life's work, including your music, has always been about improving other people's lives. It must be heartening seeing so many talented young musicians dedicated to this event. Well, I guess, I guess it's the purpose of being an artist, purpose of song is to give hope and life to other people. And for this worthy cause, it's, for, it's a responsibility of all artists to come and give hand, to give life, since it's the purpose of what we do. Each performer conveyed health information appropriate to their fan following and delivered in the style that suited them best. The impact was all the more powerful through the synergy created by the artists coming together. But though they rushed to listen to the music, at the end of the day, they went home knowing more about protection. Such a platform is always important for me because I get an opportunity to talk to women and children as usual. Not excluding the men, because in this fight you cannot exclude men, because they are supposed to be partners with us. You know, so such a platform is always important because you are going to get a huge crowd. Uh, these are people that are not going to find a 20,000 kwacha to get into a concert. But this time it's a free show and everybody is going to get the message that is there. And every single performance conveyed key health messages on a variety of health issues. I believe as, as an artist I'm like a mirror and I reflect whatever is happening around. So I reflect whatever I see and try to remind people on bad times and comfort them on sort of times and just make them happy when they feel like they have to be happy. Performances ranged from the a cappella melodies of school choirs to the mesmerizing drumming and dancing of cultural ensembles to the meaningful and entertaining drama performances of Africa Directions. I think it was a great experience because women worked together for many years and it was a good comeback as sisters. We're going to ask the youth to abstain actually and um, just be good. They must 
allow themselves to look after themselves. The festival included a health-themed art exhibit, but a lot of the time it's music that gets the message across. I believe music is believed to be a way of one expressing themselves, you know what I mean? So I think, uh, so far what I've done is, I've found a connection with a certain kind of audience. So I think if I get a chance to put out a message there for something that's going to help somebody out there, I think, well, why shouldn't I take it? No opportunity was missed to deliver key health messages. Changeovers of bands were used to show educational animated short films on malaria and HIV, all hopefully getting through to the audience. I've got a song called Hope. You know, in everything that we do, we need to have hope. In everything that I do, I have hope, and that's what has brought me this far. And I keep on having more hope for better things and better heights. Even if you're sick, you're already HIV positive, or you've got malaria, or you've got cancer, you need to have hope for you to heal, or rather, for you to live positively. This was a great platform for artists to unite for a common purpose. And many of the musos thought that the workshops were important tools to encourage them to be ambassadors carrying health messages. Hopefully the impact of the message that the artists were spreading hit home, even to the people who didn't go for screening and were just there to enjoy the music and the day. It's our responsibility, you know, to, to advocate and to speak out, to disseminate this very important information about all these dangers that people sometimes just sweep, you know, like under the carpet. So as artists, we have to enlighten you know, society. I think so. We are actually honored to be part of this. There's an old saying that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Imagine what musos could do with a pound of prevention.